me start by saying that our thoughts this morning uh, will be, first of all, with the victims of the attacks, both in Agori Coast and in Ankara. And uh, I'm sure we will uh, come back to that in the European Council that will take place later uh, this week on Thursday and Friday. Uh, today on the agenda of the Foreign Affairs Council, we have first and foremost uh, Libya. Uh, we will host uh, uh, the UN uh, Secretary General Special Envoy, Martin Kobler. We will have with him uh, an exchange of views on how to proceed. Uh, we had uh, also talks with uh, Secretary Kerry yesterday about that in, uh, in Paris. It will be important uh, for us to find the ways to deliver our U uh, European Union support in all possible fields, starting from the humanitarian one. Uh, to Libyans, and we will have a discussion with, that, uh, with the ministers on that. We we'll also have Russia on the agenda. It's more than one year that we don't have EU-Russia relations on the agenda of the foreign ministers. It is not going to be a discussion on sanctions that were rolled over uh, just a few days ago, and we will come back uh, to the economic sanctions uh, uh, only later uh, during the summer at the European Council. What we will discuss with the ministers today is the uh, state of play of our relations with Russia, a common definition, a united definition of what uh, are the guiding principles uh, of our bilateral relations with Russia, of the European Union and member states together. And uh, I will tell you more after the discussion. Uh, we also have uh, uh, a point on Iran uh, ahead of my next visit uh, that will take place on the 16th of April together with uh, many other commissioners. We will discuss with the ministers uh, on which grounds and in which issues or in, and sectors uh, to re-engage, to reopen um, full relations uh, uh, and exploring ways to cooperate uh, uh, with Iran bilaterally. And also, obviously, uh, a little bit of the regional uh, dimension. Syria is always a point very high on our agenda, but also Yemen uh, and other issues. And then we will have a point, last but not least, on the Middle East peace process. Uh, you know that we're working hard in the quartet uh, and that with our international partners, starting from the Arab countries, to try and keep the perspective of the two states for Israel and Palestine alive and to build the roads that can bring there. Uh, the situation is definitely not improving on the ground. We have, even today, very sad news. So it is uh, very important that Europeans uh, bring this uh, uh, issue forward together with our partners in the international community and we'll have, uh, I think, a very good and productive discussion about that with member states. Uh, Thank you. Exactly. We are, we are working very well together. Uh, we had exchanges with the French minister and also with the French special envoy on Middle East that you know very well is uh, Pierre Mimonso someone that knows very well the European institutions and has a, an habit to work with, uh, within the European uh, uh, Union uh, dimension. We are working very well together uh, with our French uh, friends. When I say Europeans have to work together, together also with international partners, I mean this, that we need to create synergies between different tracks uh, that are possible. Our objective is the same, our coordination is full and good. So today we will have another chance of strengthening this unity at the European level. Thank right. you. When you talk about the principles, I'll tell you later today.